Today's adventure is gonna be unlike any other. I'm gonna pair my rear derailleur with my buddy Drew's shifters, and he's gonna do the same with my bike. Yep. <laughs> so that means we shift each other's bikes. This is gonna be so weird. Bye right, guys. Drew, we're four feet into this ride and I'm, I'm already afraid to shift gears. <laughs> it's so weird to have to ask for a gear shift. Never in my life have I had to do this. One heavier. Okay. I say life. 30% grade. You need any gears? Yeah, go one down. You good? I think so. Life has a funny way of playing tricks on you. Need a thank Fate steps in and gives you a helping hand. What are you working with? Running the standard fruz. It matches your jersey. Does your jersey taste like hazelnuts? I decided to go with the Crescent Moon Egg Wrap. Tortilla, egg, cheese. It's there when you need it. Please play it one more time. He's a fascinating, devastating man. He can have my love. A little lighter. This is definitely as weird as you would think. I feel like we're syncing up. I think it's uh, synergy. S2, look. We're gonna control each other's bikes, but we need you to control our brakes. Can you do that? Okay, let's do it. He's a fascinating, devastating man. He can have all of the I need a gear shift. Until I'll never be in my eyes looking. Uh-oh. So we kind of lost us too. And the smart move would be to split up, but we can't split up because then we can't shift gears. So we have to stick together <laughs> to find this guy. <laughs> oh my God, Drew found him. Right there, little buddy. He just got a little tuckered out out there. He's alive. Seen better days. He's got all his little spinners though. We ride. I'm looking at Drew's gears to see if he looks like he's in the right gear. Maybe he needs a little. Uh, how's that? Good, good. Okay. <laughs> and shout out the Pros Closet for sponsoring this week's video. The world's largest online retailer of certified pre-owned bikes. What's up with the collar thing? I feel like a 70s business tycoon. But they don't only sell pre-owned, they also sell new stuff, like SRAM Access. So you and your buddy, you can do the gear swap thing. Trust fall ride. I'm just saying. They got the gears, you've got the intention. Win-win for everybody. More, really? I feel uncomfortable. And now back to the ride. Will they make it? Will they still be friends? Do they survive? This touch is alive, a burning fire. Being here is my great desire. He's a fascinating, devastating man. Go down one. You got it. Same here. Thanks. Hey, teamwork is dream work. Oh, we can get some snacks here. I feel like I went full redneck pit stop. And Drew over here got coconut water, iodized bottled water, and light fat salt and vinegar chips. This bag of bugles has 920 milligrams of sodium in it. That's good. Get that. <laughs> We gotta get Drew more gears. There's constantly moments where you forget that you're shifting somebody else's bike. Yeah. You like shift it and you're like, what the hell? And you hear it over there. And you're like, oh, that's right. Part of it too is looking at the cadence of your riding partner. Asked 
asked me why we often wear bandanas. And there's a couple reasons. One of the main reasons is it's dust protection when trucks pass us on the gravel roads. But it's got a multitude of uses. Portable COVID mask, booger catcher, sunblock, napkin, flint. The choice is yours. I don't know if it's I'm out of shape or if the swapping the gear things makes riding your bike harder, but I'm feeling it. It's hard. Oh no, we switched gears. He shifted mine, I'm shifting hips. You know how it goes. I got one more gear left. He can't hear me. Definitely, for some reason, much harder than expected. I think it has something to do with efficiency and you're never really in the right gear that you want to be in. <laughs> Quite the bonding experience. And the ride by the numbers. You know that Drew made that animation right there? How cool is that? Four hours, 37 minutes, rolling time. <laughs> 61.4 miles. Wow. And 6,424 feet of elevation. It felt like 85 miles and like 9,000 feet. These bubbles are helping. Oh, and did you ever see the video where Drew and I did the first two person overnight in the camper van? Yeah, that one's a classic. We were on our way to California to do our first gravel race together. What a time to be alive.